Hello sir guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem, a DNS server can't be used and you can also get like a code, a error code, but this could be different for you. But I'm going to show you this problem over here, how you can fix that. So I got this problem like two days ago and I fixed it by using some couple things and this is just a screenshot guys. And what I did was I just went to the settings, let me show you. To settings over here network and then I first off checked my internet connection so what I had was my internet connection wasn't connected for some type of reason so what I did was I just went to settings and went up to set up internet connection and by the way guys you please go like and subscribe thank you so much so one, once I was here, I just connected my internet back again and it worked out for me. Or what you can do is just go to your internet connection, go to advanced settings. And what you can either try out is use a different DNS code. Or what you can do is you can go to here and set it on automatic. So once you set it on automatic, it will just automatically change to 0.0.0. .0. So it's also a fix. And now you can click on OK. And now let's just wait. This is also just a way how you can fix your internet connection or a DNS server can't be used. So now it's basically connected. So let's just go ahead and go away from here. Now you can just try out guys. And let's just say that for some type of reason, it still doesn't connect. So there's also some couple other things which we can try out. And that would be going to safe mode or before going to safe mode, also check if you are on the latest update. So what you want to do is go to, what's this the place? I think so. Uh, yes, go to here, system software update and settings, update system software. Now it's checking like you see, and it's up to date. So you don't need a update or is there an update? Let me see. Like it says guys over here. So if you're on the latest update, no worries. But if you still have this problem, what I would suggest you guys to do is just turn off your PS5 and turn it back on. And not using this guys, I see a lot of people let me turn on the lights again. I see a lot of people turning their PS5 from here. And that's quite bad because it's just going to go to rest mode. Let me show you guys. It's just going to go to rest mode. If you see a yellow light or an orange light, it just means that it's in rest mode and it's not completely turned off. And you don't want that, guys. So after this, I'm going to show you how to turn off your PS5 on the right way. So let's wait till the blinking gone. And like you see guys, it's a orange light. So it's in rest mode. So let me just turn it back on. Let's just wait till it stops blinking and I can. So now let's turn it back on. Let's switch my HDMI back to the PlayStation. Here we go, HDMI 2. So now I'm going to show you how to turn off your PS5 the right way. Just go ahead and log in first off. And now what you want to do is you want to go to the quick menu or the control center. So quick, click once on your PS5 button, go down to here, power, click on that and go over to turn off PS5. This is how you turn off your PS5 completely. And I'm gonna show you some proof. So now you won't see any light coming out. <clears throat> so once it stops blinking and doesn't give you light anymore, it's working. So like you see, now it's completely turned off. Now what you can try out is turn it back on and see if it works out after trying this fix. Or if you still have this problem, go ahead and turn off your PS5 again, because I'm going to show you another fix that could help you out. So what you want to do is, first off, you want to hold on the power button. Keep holding the power button and make sure that you're not on rest mode. 
Once you hear the second beep, let's go to our HMI and change it back again to our PS5. You should see this screen over here. This. And you want to do exactly that. Connect the controller using the USB cable and then press the PSM button. So you want to connect to your uh, controller with your PS5, quite simple. Press on PSM button. And you can only use these buttons, guys. These and the X and the circle. So what you want to do is you want to go over to here, Rebuild Database. This helps a lot, guys, because this is going to get rid of your corrupted files. Does it even say that? Let me show you. It doesn't say that, but this is basically going to get rid of your corrupted files and things like that. And if you don't believe me, you can even search it up. It will just get rid of uh, corrupted things, save data and stuff like that. So don't worry about losing your Minecraft servers or anything like that or your GTA things. It's not going to screw that over. This is only for fixing your system, guys. Don't worry about losing anything. So I'm even going to try it out to prove to you guys that I... It's just rebuilding database. <clears throat> and let's hope my, I think my HMI is gonna switch again. It's just counting it sometimes as disabled. It's gonna only load up like one minute. It's that easy. So, I'm also going to show some proof without like adding the video, editing or anything like that. And by the way, guys, if you please could like and subscribe, that's cool to actually help me out so I can make more videos to help more people out. Thank you very much. And let's wait some 30 seconds. I think it's like less than one minute, like it's going that fast. Now, once it's done, let me show you. Let's log in. The only thing that's cool to happen is that, and that's quite normal, that your games are placed somewhere else. And what do I mean with that? Sometimes the locations of your games are just placed somewhere else. And like you see, I have all of my games. Let's go to game library. This is my other account, so I don't have anything on here. But if you go to installed, you see all of my games on here. So we won't lose anything, guys. And let's even go to my save data. This account is not something that I really use for gaming. I only use it for making videos. And you will get sometimes some things like this, like friend request. So where should I go? Let's go to my save data, like I said. Go to storage, console storage. And like you see, guys, we still have our save data, still have our media gallery, and still have our game and apps. And that's how easy it is. And if you wonder what its others mean, uh, these are just updates, guys, if you wonder what these are. So, for example, if you do an update on Warzone, this is going to be a bit more for mine. It's going to, for example, it's going to go up to 100 because I updated my Warzone, for example. So if you wonder what this over here is. And yeah, that's how easy it basically is, guys. This is how you can fix this problem over here. It's quite annoying. I had this a few days ago. And basically, you can also just fix it by connecting to your internet back again or closing off your PS5 or just not using that DNS code anymore. I hope you enjoyed it. And should I show you my name so you can add me? And also, guys, there's also one thing that, that I need to tell you, because if you cannot go to safe mode, I'm going to show you a fix for that in this video, because some people have that. I had it my too, that problem. So let's go for the profile first. Here's just my name. And you can also follow me at Twitter and Instagram, like you see over here. So, if you're using something like this, guys, this is quite important to know. A HDMI switch. It's not going to work out if you're using a HDMI switch or an Elgato game capture card, basically. Here is my Elgato.
like you're seeing over there. So if you're gonna use that between your PS5 and your monitor, it's not gonna work out. First off, you wanna plug it out from your Elgato or HDMI switch. And you wanna make sure that the HDMI is directly connected with your monitor TV with your PS5. So it doesn't matter if you're using a monitor or a TV, but make sure that it's connected directly with your PS5. And also guys, if you cannot go to safe mode and you are not connected to a HDMI switch or an Elgato game capture card, make sure that you're not on rest mode like I said guys. If you wanna to go to safe mode and you see a yellow light or a orange light, you can basically not go to rest mode. I mean, uh, safe mode. You wanna make sure that you turn off your PS5 the right way, like I showed you, go to here, then here and turn it off like this. Don't turn it off like this because it's not gonna work out to go to safe mode. I just repeated myself so everyone understands because I sometimes see comments where I just explained it and they just ask it again. And yeah, stuff like that, if you understand me. So this was the video. I hope you liked the video. If you please go like and subscribe, thank you very much. That will actually help me out so I can make more videos to help more people out. Take care.